Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. It's time to go speak with Grace. At this point, we've been away for at least a couple months, away from the ship. Now we're here, we have a brand new body, same old head, and we're sort of slightly used to our body. Watch your trial, Mr. Blasco. What a fucking fuss. Reminded me of the circus the feds put on when they tried to frame Grace for murder. Hi. Hello. I think I missed this before. Albert's letter, October 1st, 1946. Laney, our song's being played here at the club. Uh, you know, the one that you said made your head spin? Made you feel light as air? It's getting late here. You can hear the rain outside softly tapping at the window. Wish you'd come back to me, baby. Back to the club life where your beautiful voice belongs. I know you've made your mind up in this matter, but I feel I need to tell you this. My heart is aching. Not a day goes by I don't think about you. Dream about you. I try to write songs, but they all end up as crumpled paper balls in the garbage bin. Seems you took my voice with you when you left. I respect your decision, and I know there's a lot of work to be done for the African American community, and you're right. Somebody needs to take action. I know you're right. Does it have to be you, though? All I know is, I miss you. I miss the way your skin glistened in the moonlight on the wrinkled sheets of our bed. I miss how you tried to keep from laughing prematurely whenever you told me one of your jokes. I miss your genius remarks on the administration's foreign policy while you poured over the newspaper during breakfast. I miss all that and more. If you won't stop fighting for me, baby, let me know when your fight is over. Then you come back to me. I'll be here waiting for you. Yours forever, in body and soul, Albert. Hey! He's back! Whoa, man! Oh, it's space fish! Swam out of his fish bowl! Oh, you look good, Blaskowitz! You look strong, you know? Stronger than you ever did, man! Keep on swimming, space fish! Ah! Ah, get off of me! Whoa, whoa, get off whoa, of me! Whoa, 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 why it, why it? You're putting the scare on me, man. <sighs> Sorry, man. Oh, I just had this vision. What do you mean, vision? Ah, oh, there's this pile of bodies stacked up outside our house, and I crawled out the window onto the pile, and I burrowed down to the bottom where these magical rats lived, and they, they squeaked in my ear this most terrible, wonderful secret. This, this world is a lie, man. This world is a lie. No, 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 this is not a good vision. Your head is in a bad place. I'm okay, Bombate, I'm all right. It's just, I'm tired because of this constant, you know, ringing in my ear. No, 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 take a break and get some sleep. I'm all right, just... Get some sleep. Now. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just... If you're gonna sleep, you should probably go into your bed, you know? I, I guess that works. So, is Wyatt continuing to, uh, lick those, I think it's acid, right? Lick the, the acid tabs that came from Jay's stuff? A long way we have come, fishman. Slowly the people are waking up. And payback. He's coming for the Nazis. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, my friend. Hell yeah, it is. But yeah, I wonder if they're just 
are they <laughs> high on acid all the time, or is this something else that's causing these you visions? You look good, Blaskowitz. You good, Captain? Standing straight again. <laughs> Hey. Good to see you, Grace. <sighs> Shit. Blaskowitz, you are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? What? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> he said, Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Whoa, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be a history. But it... Oh, Gotten you. Sam. Gotten you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full-on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto was home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables and they dumped him there so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there languishing in the worst conditions imaginable and then after the event of late the Nazis they just dialed up the pressure death squads storming the cities killing everyone in sight god damn it they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left we gotta do something right on so now this new body of yours is ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan districts. Got it. On Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. <laughs> Who's that crying? I, this, I assumed it was Grace, but I guess not. Hmm. Alright, I'll check the war map in a second. I do want to check something else first, though. Alessandro? Tell me. Why do people not speak to me? Well, uh, I... I don't know. Please. You can tell me. Do I look funny? No, signora. You are beautiful. I smell that. No, no. You smell good, like jasmine. Then why? You have, um, a lot of character. What's wrong with having character? No, I mean, you speak of strange things sometimes. Pardon? I only say what the voice in my head tells me to say. Exato. And the voice scares people. What did you tell Abraham the other day? when he tried to speak to you during lunch? I told him about the time I spent at the hospital in Paris. What is wrong with that? And? And I was stabbed my doctor to death and cut him up to little pieces. That is what I'm talking about. But this the truth. The doctor was going to put the drill in my head. Sometimes, Signora, truth is scary for people. 
especially so during lunch. Gah. You're happy now, Pig. <laughs> Select location. Give us hammer. Mm hmm. Manhattan? Plot course for Manhattan. Sure. Nowhere else to go, right? Is this implying that I'm going to get to choose to go other places? At some point? Wait a second, what am I actually doing here in New Orleans? Or in Manhattan, rather. Find a way into the nuclear bunker before taking too much radiation. Right! Right, I don't have the suit anymore. Huh. Interesting. I haven't been paying attention to my health or anything, either. I know when I had the suit, I had a max armor of 200, and I guess because my health wasn't as... Like, Blaskowitz's health wasn't as good because they were still recovering. Their max health was 50. I'm guessing that's different now. Yeah, I must have missed, like, the dossier on what we're doing or mission briefing or something. But uh, we're going into Nuclear Bunker in Manhattan to get the New Orleans dossier. Okay, cool. But I'm taking constant damage, aren't I? Yes, I am. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, so I need to be quick, but I shouldn't literally sprint. Oh yeah, I gotta remember, I got the... the... feet things. Blaskowitz. Yeah, I'm almost dead. What's up? Run! Nah, we're good. Don't worry about it. The armor will protect me from the radiation. Sorry, dogs. Yeah, this seems like they're being extra generous with the health because the radiation thing.
gotta remember the leg things. That can allow me to get to areas such as this. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it's for. Ooh. The Nazis keep the stolen intel inside their command center. You gotta find your way in there. Still not good when it comes to radiation? Oh no, I'm, I probably am good. That's my overloaded health going down to normal. The whole color disappeared from the screen, so I think we're good. Means I don't need to run anymore. Is that a kitty cat? Set and Soshana. Shoshana. So if you try to extend your leg things and then you bonk your head because you can't fit, it just unextends them. So just bonk. Ooh. Sounded like somebody was hearing me or seeing me, but I'm not sure who. I think I can extend to get up there. Fragmentation grenade upgrade seems to work. out of 20. That counts for something. I haven't looked at my perks in forever. Um, commander alarm signals are jammed, delaying alarm activation currently delayed by 0.4 seconds. That's not much time, but something. There's actually a perk specifically for killing enemies while using the battle walker ability, so that's definitely new. Also, there's a couple ones here that are locked. I wonder what those are. that commander. Wanted to snipe him, but don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, so look at these areas. I've noticed these. See, they're like actually real areas where you could probably go through them. I think those are meant for if you got the compression thing. You could probably fit inside of there, which is weird and disturbing. Override the blast doors. Mr. 
ist langweilig. Mein Onkel war vor dem Krieg geschäftlich und meinte mit Jock. That's one of those weird guns. There's a second overhead. Carlos Postcard, 12th of June, 1961. Albert, I've been here for a month now and I can with confidence say that Providence is indeed a very strange city. The recent crime wave that has been plaguing the area makes it unsafe to tread the streets at night. During my many interviews with the people living here, I have overheard whisperings of mutated and feral inhabitants, perhaps poisoned by the radioactive fallout from New York. I'm staying at a run-down cheap motel for now. The owner barely speaks, just looks at me with eyes that seem almost devoid of life. I found my ancestor Johann Kerwin's old house in the city outskirts. People shun it, telling me that it's cursed, saying I should avoid it by any means. Well, that is something I have no intention of. I have decided that I shall organize a trip to the old mansion first thing tomorrow. I hope I shall find something. That sounds so creepy, I want to go there. Ah, oh, it's up there. Can I just, like, go through the window? Ah. I wonder if that's like a speedrun tactic. Jump up on the window and just activate it from the outside. I think you have to be facing it the other direction, though. So it's not just, like, proximity or line of sight to the button. I think you actually have to be in a certain area. What, do they really think that would stop me or something? Ooh, scary. about this place. Is it just me? There's something very strange about this place. It... Uh, it's... It feels sort of like it's... a randomly generated dungeon or something. I have no idea if that's true. It probably isn't, but it doesn't feel like a normal level, like it's been fully, you know, carefully authored like all the rest have. Something about it feels... strange. It feels off. Okay, we have a big cat. Right, um... Hmm. Well, stay away from it or it's gonna breathe fire in my face. Let's... Ooh, 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 I know what to do. Let's get... Oh, shit. 
Shit, 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 shit. Let's get double shotguns, and let's set them to the mode where they shoot three barrels at once. This is going to output tons of damage. Oh! That reached me. Hmm. Let's switch between these two. Let's go ahead and save it. And this. What is it doing? Oh, it was just a weird effect. It looked like it was like rolling on the ground, but that was just a very weird fire effect. Um... If I'm just really far up, it can't get me, right? No, no, that doesn't work. I wonder if I can even kill it or if I'm meant to do something with the environment. Hmm. There's another one! Okay, well I killed one. Hmm. I'm gonna run out of ammo before I kill this next one. It's not moving? Okay, there we go. This definitely feels like right when I was little, shooting cans with my BB gun. Except bigger can, bigger gun. <laughs> this definitely does feel like some sort of like randomly generated dungeon thingy. Again, don't know if it actually is, but it just feels very strange. Only way forward seems to be through that elevator shaft. <laughs> like, hmm. Also, it seems like I can only continue with the things that I have on my feet. Uh, maybe, no, I guess... Let's break this down. I'm wondering if this dungeon, this level, is made specifically for me. I don't think it is, actually, now that I look at it. I was thinking the only way I could progress is with these things. By going up here. But no, if you had the compression thing, you could go down here. And I'm guessing if you had the shoulder things, you can probably bust through these things, right? This, that must be what those are. They're too conspicuous. Yeah, okay. Th that makes sense. I'd be very surprised if they made special levels depending on which ability you had. That'd be a lot of work that just wouldn't be worth it. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to take out these two commanders. <laughs>